Several influential Russian military bloggers blasted the country's army leaders for failing to thwart a major Ukrainian cross-border raid, according to Kyiv Post media outlet. Ukrainian troops, tanks and armored vehicles stormed into Russia's southwestern Kursk region, forcing Moscow to rush in reserves and deploy drones, aviation and artillery to counter the attack. It was one of the most serious border incursions by pro-Kiev fighters and brought Russia's army bosses in for criticism after failing to learn the lessons from previous attacks. The enemy has been accumulating forces for two months, the influential Rybar channel, which has links to Russian troops, said in a post. For two months, the full information was sent to the useless headquarters. There was enough time to make an appropriate decision, it added. The attacks still being felt on Wednesday evening are one of the first major tests for Russia's new defense minister, Andrei Belusov. In May, he replaced Sergei Shoigu, who was blamed for a string of Russian military setbacks since the start of the Ukraine offensive in 2022. Several other defense ministry officials have been removed or arrested on corruption charges. But the man in charge of army operations in Ukraine, Chief of the General Staff Valery Gerasimov, also detested by many of the military bloggers, remained in place. In light of the Kursk incursion, Rybar and others criticized the decision to break up the combat management system. The Russian military leadership continued to make mistakes and lie, another influential blogger, Anastasia Kashevarova, said. Every day they make mistakes that cost our fighters their lives, she wrote on Telegram. The War Gonzo channel, run by Semyon Pegov, welcomed that Gerasimov was shown on state television in a meeting with President Vladimir Putin as it meant he would be directly responsible for resolving the mistakes. We have long lacked public responsibility, he said. Criticism of the offensive from military bloggers used to be common but has become rarer lately as the Kremlin has clamped down on public dissent. The bloggers shot to prominence in the first few months of the Ukrainian offensive with searing criticism of Moscow's military bosses alleging ineptitude and corruption. Russian President Vladimir Putin has made his first remarks about the Ukrainian army's attack on Russia's Kursk region, describing the assault as a large-scale provocation. Putin made the remarks one day after the attack, during the Wednesday meeting with the heads of security agencies, the Defense Ministry, the General Staff and the Federal Security Service FSB. Addressing the meeting, Putin accused Ukraine of firing indiscriminately from various types of weapons, including missiles, at civilian buildings, residential buildings and ambulances. Immediately after our meeting, I will have a meeting with the heads of law enforcement agencies, the Ministry of Defense, the General Staff, the FSB and I will hear another report from my colleagues on what is happening in the Kursk region," he stated. The Russian leader added that he has given instructions to the acting governor of the Kursk region, Alexei Smirnov, to provide the necessary assistance to the region's residents. Earlier, Putin appointed First Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mancharov to supervise this work. Russian Defense Ministry on Tuesday stated that up to 300 Ukrainian troops, including 11 tanks and more than 20 armored combat vehicles, attacked its Kursk region. According to the Russian Health Ministry, 24 people were injured, including six children.